Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and today we're gonna to be doing your upcoming tarot for August 9th through the 15th. All right, you guys, I will go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'm gonna lay your cards down. I'll put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull and then we're gonna jump right into it. Um, that being said, these are intuitive readings. So I am going to go ahead and shuffle these on camera with you guys. This way I can tune into your energy and then we'll get right down into it, guys. All right, a few more shuffles, two more shuffles, one more, all right, one more. All right, let's see, Scorpio, what's happening? What's happening? The situation, what's challenging you? What's on your mind? What's your approach? What are some external influences? Ooh, in the near future, what's coming towards you? We're gonna pull another card and we're gonna go deeper. But at the very center of your reading, we do have the chariot here. The situation is you've chosen a direction, one that usually involves following your heart and you're ready to just charge forward victoriously, unstoppably. You're challenged by, we got the hermit here. Anytime I see the hermit, obviously it's about going inward for inner guidance, but it is also about like learning your lessons, absolutely. So you have to go within, you're needing inner guidance. Um, you need something within, some lesson here learned to help navigate this direction that you're going in, this unstoppable direction. On your mind, we got you a little burdened here. We got the Ten of Wands, you're tired. Your mind's a little restless, probably making you feel a little bit tired this week. But again, we're gonna pull another card, let's go deeper. Let me not even say that and let's actually go a little bit deeper here. So let me give these a few more shuffles. But yeah, there's something in your environment, you guys, as well. There's a loss here, there's some regret, there's a little bit of pain. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's people, I don't know if it's work, but it's your environment. We have the Five of Cups here. We have the Five of Cups, so it's gonna be a loss here. It's gonna affect you. I don't know if it's somebody in your environment, we're gonna go a little bit deeper, but it, it'll affect you from like charging forward. Um, Maybe there's somebody who needs your attention this week, you guys, and you can't go 1 million percent in the direction you want it because you have to like be like, all right, let me stop here and help here. You never know. Well, let's see. I want to see. Um, you're looking at long term, though. You're definitely considering long term right now. That's what's on you. That's what you're, that's where your head's at as well. You're thinking about long term plans, people, work, living, anything like that. Um, all right. Two more Scorpio. And let's see. One more. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. Never mind. Hold on. Ooh, very interesting. Okay. You definitely, you want to be successful, right? And I feel like this is in regards to relationships for you guys. Because we have the chariot here with the six of wands. So this is the situation here. We've got success. We've got recognition for overcoming your troubles as well. And we've got like you following your heart very passionately. That's what's at the very heart of the situation this week. Now you're challenged again by we have the lovers and the hermit. So is it love lessons of the past? Is that, you know, the lesson that we're connected here? Because the lovers also talks about following your heart. But with the chariot here, I feel like you already know that. And so it's just really with the hermit, use your intuition when it comes, if it is regarding romance or anything like that, just use your intuition. That's what is challenging you right now. And when I say intuition, again, the hermit, the reason I say lessons learned is because I always, let's not forget the tarot's about the fool's journey. And when the fool meets the hermit, the major arcana, the hermit is seeking inner guidance because he's, He's coming from the place of strength. He's coming from the place of the chariot. So he's been through a lot and he is now going within to kind of absorb it, to like play it back, to connect the dots, to learn the lessons, and then to hopefully get that knowledge so he doesn't repeat it again. And I feel like there's a challenge here of this. On your mind, we got that four of wands. We got this milestone. You're wanting to accomplish something major in your life, you guys. Um, for everybody, it's a little bit different. But you know, um, any kind of milestone, it, it doesn't have to be you sell your company, but like, let's say you hit the first bar that you've set for yourself, that's a major milestone, right? Even if it's 25% of your goal, major milestone. A wedding, a graduation, any kind of celebration like that also. But I feel like you're being hard on yourself for not having hit it. 
that's where your head's at, right? You're putting too much on yourself. You're putting too much on yourself. Um, the only thing I'll say is trust in divine timing. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And this is not going to make it happen any faster anyway. And I feel like you're just, you're carrying more than you should when it comes to the situation. Anytime the Ten of Wands shows up, you are carrying more than you should. And it's on your mind. And then it just feel like you're like, oh, I should have hit it already. Why am I not there already? And you know, success and victory is here for you. And so is the Wheel of Fortune. We didn't talk about that yet, but it is your oncoming energy. It is here for you. So just trust in divine timing. Everything has its time and place for us. And it comes exactly at the perfect time, even if it doesn't seem like it, I know it does. Now your approach. Again, we got that seven of pentacles. You're thinking about what is worth investing in, what isn't. You're, you're thinking about long term. Let's say you got long term on your mind. You're reassessing your life. You're reassessing what you want for the rest of your life, right? Like it's like your vision board in a way. And then we have the star here. You're taking time to replenish your soul, your soul and yourself. Like you're healing basically. Um, like the, the woman in this card in the star, She's so full that she's able to just pour back and give back to the earth. She's not taking anything. She's only giving, right? And like, she, you can do that. One, first of all, if the star is here in your approach, that means you're a little bit drained. So you're taking some time to kind of fill yourself up so that you can come back 1 million percent and 100 percent to the situation. But you're needing healing. And then we have the seven stars here, which represent um, the chakras as well. And I always think of like wishes fulfilled. Um, you're wanting your wishes fulfilled. You're thinking about what those wishes are for yourself and for your life. You're just taking an approach of like, OK, what can I do? Where am I? You're a little impatient. I feel like you're a little bit like ah, a little frustrated with slow results. There, there's, there's that feeling of like, why haven't I hit this yet? And then this guy, he's kind of like looking at it like, Jesus Christ, where are you guys? I've been tending to you every day and you're still not here. So there's like a little bit of frustration with slow results. I think when it comes to wishes fulfilled, when it comes to healing. Um, and again, I think of like divine timing and we do have the wheel of fortune here, which also speaks of everything having its time cycles coming in and cycles coming out um and it's a beautiful cycle that's turning for you guys now your environment with the external influences at first i thought it was like a major loss but when you pull a second card you do go a little bit deeper we also have the fool here with that five of cups you I think in your environment, there's been some time where you've been focusing on what you didn't have and what you lost and regrets and of that. But now I feel like you're willing to take a chance on somebody or somebody's willing to take a chance on you. We got the fool here, you guys. So there is something, um, especially when it comes to the chariot, somebody's going to take a chance on you. Somebody wants to move in the same direction as you. I feel like it was once super sad, but we got the fool energy. The right on top of it it's that leap of faith it's that leap of faith um you're just needing some intuition and some patience you guys because i could see that you're impatient i can see it here with the ten of wands i can see it here with the seven of pentacles but it's all happening for you you're just impatient with the slow results you're just like oh my god why is it not here but there's this like taking a chance on yourself on the in your environment somebody's taking a chance on you you're taking a chance on somebody I, I mean, the fool is here. That's definitely the hardcore message. Somebody's taking a leap of faith on you and you on somebody. It's so at first I felt like it was not good. It's super positive energy, guys. Really positive energy. And even on that note, we had that wheel of fortune with what's coming towards you at the end of the week. What is the wheel of fortune connected to? It's three of swords. This is heartbreaks, heartbreaks. And with the Wheel of Fortune attached to it, that cycle of being let down, of being heartbroken, it's over. You paid your dues, Scorpio. You paid your dues. You learned your lessons. And if not, use the time. Go within. Learn your lessons. Lessons. Um, because the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's always spinning positively when it shows up. So positive, better cycles are coming in for you. And what are they connected to? A fuller heart. You're going to have an emotional release, maybe but it's gonna let you heal and let this cycle close out so that you can really start jumping into that fool energy and really embracing these new cycles of love, of passion to come in, not of letdowns, of not new cycles of where you're not looking at what you don't have, instead you're focused on what you do have. Um, 
really, really great energy, Scorpio. And what else can I say? Wheel of Fortune comes in like, boom, we're here to change your luck. We're here to change your fate. There's not much more to say on that, so I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Thank you for watching. If anything resonates, leave comments. Of course, like and subscribe, you guys, and I will see you next week.